Welcome, Paula here. And last episode, I tasked you lot with uh, coming up with funny names and uh, causes of death for the graveyard. And and I'm going to let that run over the weekend, so more ideas can get gathered up. And once we have a nice selection, I'm going to pick them out, and we're going to start sticking them on these graves. What is that noise I keep hearing? What is that noise? So I don't know how true it is, but someone mentioned that mobs, like hostile mobs as well, will stay there once they've spawned, unless they die like the sun and whatnot. So that's interesting to know, I don't know how true it is, but if it is, then that means I'll be able to trap some uh, zombies, as was suggested, into the uh, crypt. So I think I'm going to try that. Not quite sure what I want to work on at the moment. I do want to finish this, but I would also like to work topside for a little while. Because it's, you know, it gets a bit dark down here. So, what the hell happened there? It's odd because I don't remember doing that. So, let's have a quick look up top side. Uh, here we got some cows. My house seems to be uh, zombie free, so... Now, I was trying to uh, MC edit my old builds into this world, because I was missing them. But, uh, and on that note, I don't think I will be generating a new world for quite some time. 1.9's around the corner, but I'm just going to generate new chunks. I should have done that with one point, with my 1.7 world, but oh well. I'm happy with what i got now, so. Uh, so on the note of my 1.7 builds, I'm just going to rebuild them here at some point. It will take a lot of work, but it'll be worth it. But as for the fortress build... After being inspired by the awesome job people have done on uh, the uh, Minecraft server that uh, my community runs, you know, I really want to do something similar. So once 1.9 hits and I can generate new chunks, I'll set out at creating a whole city, as it were, and then get it all walled off and all that good stuff. So, but for now, I am here. That sheep's here. I need to build something. So what should I build? Tree farm's going well still. Well, how much space do we have around here? A fair bit. Okay, what I'm going to do, clear out this dirt, cut down that tree and build a little farm because I need food and I don't want to kill any more animals until they add breeding into this game. So until I can breed my own sheep and cows and pigs so I can eat them, I don't plan on uh, hunting them down anytime soon. So let me get this all cleared out. Okay, I've uh, marked out the area I'm building. I might have to kill some of these sheep though because they're going to trample all over the crops once they're down. But uh, yeah, I was hoping to... Well, that's actually a bit of a pain, but... I'm just thinking I'll put these up, put the torches down to keep the monsters at bay at night. Though it's not gone dark yet and I need to tear them up already, so that's kind of a pain. Sheep, go away. Sheep just wants to get on camera. That's going to be a bit of a problem once I've uh, built this huge farm and then all the sheep just start jumping up and down on all my uh, crops buggers. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this fence down and around. In fact, I might double it up and make it slightly higher, I don't know yet. Depends on the style I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, it's night time. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and double up the fence just so it might stop spiders from coming in. I know it won't. I think, I believe spiders can climb the walls, I'm not sure, but... Uh, 
If anything, it should stop them accidentally wandering, wandering in. Plus, I means I don't have to dig out this whole side here. So uh, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm not sure what pattern I'm gonna use yet. I think too high is plenty. I had to run in and get some more fence just because it went dark. I made my tree. I'm glad I made my tree farm when I did. It's come in handy. So gotta keep hearing these damn sheep. I suppose I could make a pen for the sheep. In fact. I built this too high, I don't know if I want it too high now. This could have been a place for sheep. Huh. Well, it's not like they're going to jump out, is it? Although still, there's still a chance that we could get some nasty mobs hopping. Not that it matters, but... Preferably, I would rather... This area stayed uh, mob free. Okay, I need some more fence. There we go. Okay, um. Hmm. Okay, I've made a mess of this. Let me see if I can. Whoa! Okay, I guess the can come in. Uh, one cool thing. I can only assume it works with sheep. One cool thing is... I know it works with bows because I've tried it when I was making a dock on uh, the multiplayer server. But, uh... If you have a couple of gates, in fact, let me just go craft a couple more to show you. Okay, if you have a couple of gates, like I have two on me now, and we put one there and one there. Now, if I open all of them, you can walk through the divider bits here. So that should mean, like with boats, I should be able to get the sheep through the Wrong way, this way. Go on, Shibi. Go on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay. Phew. That was awkward. So, yeah, that works nicely and it's big enough to let them in. Now, the only problem is I killed a couple around here. And he wants to get in. So, I've got how many sheep do I have? I've got one, two, three sheep. What I might do is devise some crazy water slide scheme to where wherever the sheep are in this area I can push them in water and they'll just get pushed down to over here so yeah, here's some no sheep don't jump in front of me when I'm cutting with my sword and stop trying to escape get back of course I can't get out bit dark, I can't really see up this mountain, but go on sheep, get in, get in, get in, get in boy, get in, get in, let's get in there, and you too, go on, get in the bloody fence, awesome, so, I've got a few sheep, mostly black sheep, But uh, it doesn't really matter since you can die wool. Whoa. Sneaky. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well, this is going to be a little animal pen. I need some more animals, don't I? Where are the pigs and the cows? I guess I killed them all, didn't I? Ah, <sighs> sigh. Um. 
Right, let's get a bit of a design going on here then, I guess. Tart it up a bit. So... Let's do the same in all the corners. Okay, it's gone daylight. I managed to get the corners up. I think it looks better. I probably want to do some more decorating at the gate here, but I'll do it later. I'm frankly tired of running back to get more fence. What I will need, or want, I suppose I'm going to want to make a little shelter in here and like a, a drinking area, a drinking hole, so. Where could I do that? I suppose if I do it at one end, I guess. Perhaps in this corner here. Whoa, creeper. Creeping creeper, I see there. Yikes. Ah, <sighs> oh, this is a deadly game I'm playing. If I get close to the fence, he'll go off. But at the same time, I'm going to run and jump and hit him. And these sheep are going to get killed. Move back. Move back. Okay. So, of course, there's a creeper there. All the sheep gather there. Look at it. What's going on? Let's have some food. Get my uh, ability to sprint back. Hey. What a shot. Yeah, I have to watch them. That sneaky bug is trying to get out. Ah, cow. So what we got over here, we've got a naked sheep. We've got a cow. Can we get the cow? Let's have a look. This way. There needs to be some sort of item in the world that could attract animals. Normally, if you put a farm down, all the animals will spawn there and trample it, so... But since the change spawning, that won't happen anymore. Okay, I'm going to wrestle with this cow for a bit. I'll be back. Almost got it. Almost got it. Get in there. Get in. No! No! Stay in there, sheep. Stay in there. Go on. Go on, cow. Go on. Go on. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, Christ. Thank God for that. Okay, I now have a cow and some sheep. I hate to think what it's going to be like trying to get a pig in there. I might have to get a saddle. I just had a thought I should get chickens as well, but... All I have to do really is get eggs and throw them in there. And with the chickens you can just keep using eggs, so I suppose you could kill them for meat, but... Do I really want to mix them in with the other animals? I don't know. Okay, I need to get to work on building the shelter, so I'm going to try that. Okay, I've cut me up some uh, brick, and I got to thinking, why don't I build the shelter out of brick, because brick looks nice in here, but uh, I just also had an idea on how to actually do it, so let's see how this looks. And of course, all the animals come over here. Okay, and how big do we want it? Let's say this big. Let me just finish this so they don't try and use it for escaping. That might be a bit too high. No, that's fine. So, what I'm going to want to do is need some wood. Okay, um, how am I doing this? I have no idea. Actually, you know what? No. I probably want this to. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to go get me more brick, but let me just see if I can get the shape down. 
And I kind of wanted to do... I'm going to need brick across the back, so... How am I doing this? I guess it was kind of like... Kind of like this, I suppose. That's why these sheep are trying to escape. And it would be... Okay, more wooden slabs going across here. Like so, basically. And of course I ran out. Oh my god. But yeah. This is how it would be, I guess. Oh, I might want to get rid of this. I'm not sure. But I'm still going to bring this out a bit more. And it's getting dark, so I'm going to go ahead and get, get the other resources and finish this up before it gets night. Okay, it's morning, and I've finished... <laughs> go away, creeper. And I've finished the shelter. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm 100% pleased with how it came out, but... Uh... I don't know, I, it works. I ended up putting the fence around it just because it made it look a bit more... I don't know, it looks a bit better. Plus, I don't really want them going down that side. No, just... Oh, you sneaky bugger, you just dodged out of the way at the last moment on that. Okay, go back left, that's it. Jump, jump, get up there, get up. I'm over here, mate. Uh oh, lagged out. <laughs> oh my god, that is a dangerous game. Okay, I'm gonna leave that creeper. Holy crap, there's another one. Oh god. Surrounded. Why can't creepers burn up in daylight, seriously? If they can blow up, they should be somewhat flammable and sun, heat, light, you know, I don't know. Some sciencey equation behind it should make them burn. Okay, so I've got my shelter done, and I think what I would like to do now is hello, have a a uh, watering hole or a place where they can drink water or just you know lounge around, splash about, have a good time, a few beers, all that good stuff. So first of all, I'm gonna need to dig that out. I'm just, I'm just going to assume it's going to be about maybe this size, I don't know. I don't know, how big should it be? Do we have any wooden blocks? I do, so... So let's just go ahead and... How big? That will work, now I just need to fill this with water. Although, I don't know if I want the, the uh, base of it that colour. Maybe we'll just make it wood. They're normally made out of metal, but... It doesn't matter. Okay, finally I'm on my last bucket of water. And... Pow! Although it does look a little weird, but I think that could be due to the... Oops. Okay, that looks a bit more sensible. There you go. Go on, sheep. Have a drink. Have a drink. Whoa! <laughs> Can they... I 
didn't think of that. Well, I don't think they can escape. He's looking out there, but he knows there is no escape. Well, that's just a little drinking area. Now I'm looking at it, I kind of wish it was more aligned. Hmm. Done. It is now aligned. Perfect. Okay, what else do we need? I guess I need to go get some bone meal. Oh, no, 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 no. In fact, you know what, Mr. Creeper, I'm tired of you guys sitting out there. Scaring me sheep, scaring me cow. Yeah, you go back over there. Dead. So. I need a path. A path and a... I just sworn I saw a creeper then. Perhaps I'm just seeing flashbacks. Ooh, there's a naked sheep. Although he looks kind of weird when he's got no uh, wool on him. In you go. <laughs> that was the easiest one yet. Okay, so... We're slowly gathering sheep. I need to go find some eggs and uh, get some chickens going. I just don't know if I want chickens in there as well. I'll work it out. I also need to find bone meal. Bone meal, a path. What kind of path though? Maybe a, a cobble one. Not cobble, uh, gravel. Hmm. Okay, while I was laying out the bone meal trying to get uh, some grass to grow, I noticed that Bessie here somehow escaped and I'm kind of wondering how the hell she did that. Now I'm even questioning if I even had a cow in here in the first place. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Okay, I know. I'm going to have to get me some more fences. Don't have any more on me. Damn. I bet he got up here and just hopped over. Huh. Drap last bugger. Okay. Okay. I've got the path down. But it's missing something. I managed to uh, get a couple of eggs and get some chickens in there. The only thing I'm wondering, I put bone meal down inside and it's grown a lot of flowers. I don't think flowers are appropriate uh, appropriate for um, like a, a place where everything's going to be stomped down if that makes sense, you know. So I might take them out. So as you can see I've already got a whole bunch. I need to get another cow back in there. That's Bessie over there who just made a, a who did a uh, Alcatraz and uh, got out and then swam to safety. But <laughs> definitely gonna have to do something about that. Okay. Hey. I might have to make a separate chicken farm, but. I've seen some of the chicken farms people have made already and they're kind of, I don't know, they just make me feel kind of uneasy because they look pretty cruel. It's like, you know, a single square with like a, a metal cage on it and, oh man, I'd feel bad if I did that, so. Maybe we'll have some plants in like one of the corners. So, hmm. okay, so, I don't need to dirty up the middle anyway, but like I said, if you have two fences or two gates, this middle section you can walk through, so it's perfect for making boat docks or if you need like a huge gate like I've just done there, so, 
Although I'm still, still going to need more animals. And I'm definitely going to need another sheep since that one went. I might just start bringing them all around from around here. Just, you know, spend like half an hour pushing one. What Notch needs to do is add away, like, uh, if you have some food in your hand, like grain or wheat or whatever, and it's in your hand, they'll start following you. Or just a pipe. I'll be there. Pull in the Pied Piper. That will work. But yeah, it's not much, but, uh, it's my little. No, mate, you can't get out. Go back in there. I opened the door and one of the chickens bolted for it, so. Okay, so this is the start of my farm. And, uh, see these lot are trying to escape. You get back in there. Get out of it. No, you don't want to go out there. It's a swamp. Sheep don't belong in swamps. Yeah, yeah. I know you, chicken. You get everywhere. Get out of the way. Why, wow, they're really desperate. Jeez. They gave them, like, water and place to sleep. What's going on? Have some seeds and be done with it. Okay, well, just a short episode, I'm afraid. I'm still uh, ramping up, trying to get resources gathered. That's the problem when you start a new world. Uh, but since 1.9 is pretty well, I mean, the pre release is floating around already. And that will add a revamp to the Never, which is good because I haven't entered the Never yet. So when I do, it's going to have all the new goodies. And since I haven't explored very far, I won't need to recreate a new world because, you know, I'll have snow biomes and all that good stuff really close. So, you know, rock and roll. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, again, that graveyard, uh, gravestone names I asked for. I'll add them on next week, give it the weekend to run so people can add more. I mean, I like the suggestions going uh, going on so far. Just remember, though, that it's uh, going to be on a sign, so it can't be super long, because I've noticed some super long ones already submitted, so if it's too long, I ain't going to be able to fit it on there, will I? Anyway, uh, you can just catch more of my videos at paulie.com. It's got all the links for my live streaming and YouTube or head over to asheshq.com where we have our Minecraft server for which anyone's pretty well welcome to join all you got to do is just fill in the application which pretty well gets approved anyway so hopefully I'll see you on there anyway thank you for watching see you next time